Today we're playing GTA Online and this is the BF Weevil, also known as the Volkswagen Beetle. It, it's a Volkswagen Beetle. It's another Rockstar car that hardly has any differences to the real counterpart. And we've had some similar cars before that are slightly different. This is practical. This is the exact same. And you know, I, I'm a little bit late to the party here, but I thought, look, I had to scroll through the YouTubes and clearly nobody has any taste. So I, the pants man, the pants meister, he's gonna have a quick listen. Pretty, pretty small, pretty mighty. I'm gonna customize this properly for you. Let's go for a quick little drive, a little screw, screw as we go. I am pretty certain that this has some roof customization. You can tell the camera is slightly raised up. And of course, this car is very special in that it was the base for Porsches. Or oh, Porsche. If you want me to say Porsche, I'll say Porsche. I'm very, very excited to customize this in Need for Speed Heat and a bunch of other Need for Speed games. This is probably one of my favorite cars to jump in and start to play with and have a little bit of a do-do-do-do-do. Now, straight away, I'm going to tell you, it is very, it's very slow. I mean, I want sp Oh! I wouldn't expect any better, I was going to say. Have I jumped the fence? Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, wait, I can get out. I thought I was stuck. Excuse me. I've already ruined the poop out of this car, but that is a good time for us to... Uh, I'm going to the garage. I do not disappoint. I'm going to make this thing beautiful. You're going to be like, damn, Good this man. I, I need to subscribe to this man because he makes the best GTA cars. We're not going to do the armor. We're going to do the brakes to start off. We're going to do the bumpers. We've got front bumpers to choose from. I really love the, the just the stupid bumper delete. It looks so good. It makes it so much nicer. The big stupid bumper on the front ruins it. And that's cool. Nice little primary splitter, secondary splitter. We've got a carbon. We have the extended bull bar. We've got boogie bull bar. This is awesome. So BF has always been in GTA like a rally off-roader. BF in injection, I think it was, in GTA San Andreas. The boogie was just fantastically awesome. I'm going to make this thing... I'm going to make it spicy. That's the main aim here. So I'm actually going to go for now for the primary. I may change that. I may This is a car that has so many options. Holy. <laughs> now, mate, can we put a Yamaha R1 engine in here? Probably not. Probably won't let us. But that's okay. So the exhausts are too small. Quite frankly, they are pathetic. And therefore, those are going to be changed as well. Now, just because the option is here, I really, really want to... I want to put this on. So I'm going to go for, let's say, this, op this, this, this option right here. Full engine upgrade gives us a decent amount more power. And then we've got the exhausts to go through. Holy crap. We've got some proper Volkswagen exhaust. Look at that. They've got the big bore stinger, as they call it. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, get water in that, mate. You're a little bit stuffed. Let's keep going. Once again... You know what? I, I want to go for silly. So we're going to go for this one right here. This is not something you could possibly... Well, you could do, but you'd be a, a, a baboon to do so. We could put little, uh, little... I don't even know what you would call it. Hoods? Yeah, I guess hoods. Over the lights in case you want to. We can make it look a little bit like... Hi. <laughs> we can keep her going with the carbon fenders. Oh, the deleted fenders. That looks so awesome. Don't you think? I told you. We're here to do the best customization. We can have the full deleted fenders which just looks awesome like proper buggy or we can do the semi deleted fenders which i personally think looks much much better so we're gonna go for that uh, we're gonna go for the hood customization next i'll tell you i am making this thing awesome considering the fact that it has no front lights now we could do these at the front which kind of look awesome wait this is a new thing hood accessories an adventure kit <laughs> Just in case you want to. Again, with a car like this, they can go pretty ham with everything on it. We've got liveries, which we will go through. We've got plate customization, of course. Full roll cage. I think full roll cage, to be honest with you. All the seats are even changing on the interior. That is awesome. I think the, the carbon seats, of course. We've got roof customization. Now, this is going to be awesome because we've got a nice sun strip. And I definitely... I could tell by the camera we would have some awesome roof business going on now i think i want to make this like a proper like little adventure buggy side skirts gotta have them as aggressive as those fenders oh mate that's pretty sick just in case we run out of damn fuel we've got some extra fuel on the side that's probably required knowing me uh, <laughs> go for the spoilers now come on oh already that's looking good this is looking good i like that a lot 
Now, don't get me wrong. I think the others look better. But if you've got a big stupid wing like that available, you kind of need to... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Holy crap. <laughs> That's beautiful. I... Listen, we were, we were starting it nice, and now I'm just kind of going for the extreme. I, if the extreme is available, I'm doing it. And livery customization... We have got hot rod flames. We have got purple flames. That looks awesome. We got army camos just in case. Beautiful. I love that. Where's where's the number? We got a herb. We gotta have a full herbie livery, right? Got a rust bucket. There you go. That'll do. Close enough. The forgotten racer. Wow. That's not very nice, is it? We got flower and this, which is pretty extreme to say the least, and flower power. Peace, man. Of course, we have to have all of these because it is the ultimate hippie mobile. I'm thinking these purple flames are going to look sick once we do a nice little respray. Now, let me be clear. The camber is stupid. A lot of it is stupid. I could make this thing look so much nicer, but it's GTA, baby. Cars are not made to not have a little bit of fun with. You boring, but let's go for a cheeky little drive with this thing. I love the yellow lights. They have to stay just as much as possible now something that's a bit weird about this it's not a muscle car but it is wheelie capable let's uh, show you demo that man I'm do you mind overtaking me like you are right watch watch i don't understand why it could do wheelies it's just totally unnecessary why on earth would i need to be doing wheelies in the pf volkswagen because the suspension's a bit weird. It does have this weird, like, bop ability. It's pretty sick. It's almost like a semi road rider. But let's get it. Let's see what the speed of this little weevil is. Come on, weevil. I also didn't really change the interior at all. I just kind of left it with the cage modifications that we did have. I love this. It's still... It, if you can get a fast beetle in a game, it's just fantastic. All the supercar people be like, what the hell? No, we know. I tell you, absolute pure, beautiful Volkswagen bitterness is going on. The handling is rubbish. I'm not even going to sit here and pretend. This thing is crap. If you turn, mate, you, you... Oh, my God. I expected it to be a bit poo-poo, but not this poo-poo. Not only do you just slide absolutely everywhere, even at full... Okay, to be fair, that was, uh, that was quite grippy. But if I do a one-two... Oh... It's going. Easy. Ready? One, two. <laughs> Just, it's not grippy in the slightest. And if you tap a curb, of course, the camber probably doesn't help. In fact, it's so freaking low. If you tap a curb, you go and die. I'm not going to tell you to make this thing fast at all. It is just not worth it. It costs 800,000. What? Yeah, well, you're going to get run over. Stupid. I would still buy this. I mean, I did. Clearly, it was 800,000. If you didn't do the missions, it's like 600 if you did. But I, I'm i going to add this to my permanent car. I say that as if I sell any of the cars in the game. I have hardly sold anything. I think the free cars even stay in my collection. Even though I could just reclaim them. I just keep buying and buying garages. But just look at this thing. It's small. It's mighty. It's powerful. Who needs a Porsche when you got this? And I, all the crashing I've been doing... It's like, that's the only damage. It's made of pure stuff that's very strong. If I was going to rebuild this, I'd remove the camber. I would put the cool wings on. Like, these, these are just fantastic. I love how stupid this wing is. It looks great, but I would love to have the normal wing. And, of course, we've got blood all down the side. But we're going to ignore that completely. It would be nice. I really, really want to see bags in GTA Online. I don't know about you, because I love this camber stupid look. But when I'm driving, of course, it becomes a little bit of a pain. I would love there to be bags and you have two options for suspension and you can just pick between what you want when you're out of the car and when you're in. It like it's totally possible for them to do that. They've got low riders in the damn game. It is so easy for them to do that because you can control the low riders out of the car, can't you? As far as I remember, and if not, why not? That should be a feature as well. Anyway, this is the BF Weevil. As I said, I have not customize this yet this is the first time me doing it and therefore i wanted to share that experience with you because it's definitely a car that i wanted to add now you could have already got this earlier by doing some special missions but i didn't do those special missions and i just paid all the monies 
for this thing. I went for the two-tone on the white and the black just to, you know, I'm not normally a black car person, but if you got a purple flame, it's kind of got to be done. So I'm not, do you mind? I'm not going to say no about this. Anyway, GTA updates. Hopefully, I, th well, I say hopefully, I know that we've got at least one or two more vehicles to come from this update. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss out on beautiful machines like this. Look at me, the best, the best customizer of me. And all the GTA kids be like, oh, he's rising, he's rising. Yeah, nah, not happening. That ain't me, I'm a G. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you're not. See you in the next video, until next time. Peace.